Now to the latest developments in the race for the White House. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley announced yesterday she's running for president. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley officially launching her 2024 presidential campaign to chants and cheers in Charleston. As I set out on this new journey, I will simply say this. May the best woman win. Haley touting her trailblazing political path. The daughter of Indian immigrants who became the first woman and first person of color elected governor of South Carolina, going on to serve in the Trump administration as ambassador to the United Nations and now running against her old boss. I would not run if President Trump ran. That was nearly two years ago. Today, former President Trump is running again, and so is Haley. We'll have term limits for Congress and mandatory mental competency tests for politicians over 75 years old. Trump is 76 and President Joe Biden is 80 and is believed to be on the verge of a re-election run himself, coming off his spirited sparring with Republicans at last week's State of the Union address. It sounded as though they agreed right then and there to take those cuts off the table. The Republican field is forecast to grow, with presidential announcements expected from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President Mike Pence, and others. If you're tired of losing, put your trust in a new generation. Nikki Haley is taking a calculated risk here. Her hope is to lock down some of the donors and some of the early support with people that might want to be looking for an alternative. Haley's announcement comes amid words she could face more competition from within her own home state. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott also rumored to be weighing his own presidential run. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.